Well, you've said there's a big rapper who secretly hates Drake, despite having big records with him. Yeah. And some people uh -huh. are saying it's Travis Scott, but you didn't confirm it. So can you confirm it? I'm going to leave that one in the air, but... Um, <laughs> I, I, you, know, you know, Are you denying it's Travis Scott? Okay, the, the reason why I don't <laughs> want to confirm it is because these rapper relationships are fickle. And the moment I confirm it, these two guys are going to become friends again and I look idi like idiotic, right? Because they're not, they're not like, you know, what fans don't understand is like, none of these guys are friends. These guys use each other. And then yeah. these guys all call themselves twin and brothers and do all that type of stuff. And really, they get mad over the simplest thing. Yo, you really try to holler at my girl? What, that I came to your white party with? Like, oh, you think I'm a bit? Oh, yo, bro, like, you, you really, you really going to collab with him after he, that's the type of petty BS Moses, like, they're not friends. Like, none of these guys are friends, right? And I think, I think that's why you see Drake looking so lonely right now. Because Drake has finally had to step away from all the fake friends he had, you know? Well, no, no, I, I've said this in multiple interviews. I was a bit surprised that all the rappers that Drake has transformed in terms yeah. of their careers, not a single one stepped up. Game was one of, the, one of the only ones that really stepped up. I heard there's a lot of politics with that. But all the Black Boy JBs, the Young Blues. With, with all due respect, Black Boy JB, um, like no one's like waiting for him to pick a side, right? Like no disrespect. But, but also. Uh, but he could still do it. Yeah, but, but it wouldn't matter. And also it would just mess him up. I've always said the people who hurt the most are the smaller artists. It's the, no disrespect, the schoolboy cues. All right, you pick a side. Now you can't perform in Toronto, <laughs> right? Is that the, true, though? Yes. I mean, because the, the, the Toronto police said that that's not true. No, no, that was that was a that was a fake um, <laughs> Drake fans made up. That was a fake, okay. a fake uh, like they're not right. They're not publishing their letter to a manager to everybody. That was that was fake. But, but Drake did get booed in Canada. Mm -mm. That's not true. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hold on, hold on, because I remember I saw that. No, no, me... oh, okay, I, I can explain what you're talking about. So there was, I think, a Limp Biscuit show. Oh, here we go. Drake is booed by Limp Biscuit fans. Yeah, yeah. But, but come on, I, like, listen. After, okay, okay, all right, that's a little different. Yeah, and, and there was no conference. They said, oh, Drake's in the building, right? Those fans don't want to hear Drake anyway. Like, if, if okay. even if you could be living in Drake's house, if you went to see a Limp Biscuit show, this is not Jay Z. I think Jay Z had a song with them, right? But, um, but, but yeah, they're not really hip hop fans. Okay, fair enough.